Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. However you found me, I'm just so thankful you're here with me today. Uh, today is, uh, I'm working on the collab for the Walk Away Dress Challenge by Stephanie Canada. And I printed everything out and I'm finally, for really the first time, looking at my printout. Now she had uh, ba done a basic tracing of the original um, from the 50s and um, then we were supposed to um, enlarge it to fit us. So this, <laughs> I looked at it and went, oh my goodness, I did not, uh, I did not like increase the pattern. Um, it Thankfully, it's one inch grid pattern and I think I'm just going to um, draft it on the fabric. And that might not be very smart, but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm still gonna see how long it takes me to do. When I was measuring this, it's, it's designed for um, a 32 inch bust and a C cup. And so that's one of the things I want to keep in mind um, as I'm increasing um, the pattern. So I still want it to be for my best, but I have a D on the verge of E cup. So I want to make it just slightly larger in that area. Um, but yeah, I the, the nice thing is it's designed for a 32 inch bust and I'm a 42 inch bust. So how hard can it be? I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna draft this on um, fabric. So I'm gonna go out to my fabric stash and decide what I'm gonna make this from. I should probably check my bias tape too because this gets closed with bias tape. So yeah, I'll be back.
All right, so I'm gonna do a quick recap on this. Um, I thought I was just going to say, oh yeah, this is how you do this, blah, 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 whatever. I decided to go ahead and um, at least scale the top part of the pattern up. And uh, how I did that was, this was the tricky part because this was um, drawn out on a diagonal. And so I realized that these were the same scale. And so I just, you'll see over here, um, I kind of trace things out to kind of go, okay, well, if I go up, you know, three, it looks like a quarter inch. So I just, I did a lot of eyeballing. And then, if I can find my extra pieces here, I went ahead and I created the, let's see what this part goes to. So this is the um, front part. And then what I did is knowing that my bust was 10 inches larger than the original pattern, I knew I had to add 10 inches to the uh, pattern. So what I did is on the fold, I went ahead and just about an inch away, went away from the center, and then over on the side where it wouldn't affect any of the darts, I cut it and I moved that out two inches, and then I recreated this angle from here to wherever I cut. So I tried to make it as simple as possible. I did that for the front as well as the back. This is that, is that it? That, I'm not sure if that's it. <laughs> I've got a bunch of little pieces over here. And then I just used my awl to put the holes where they the darts were supposed to go and just crossed my fingers that it was accurate enough. So as, as I was going through this, that um, it does not matter, like I was supposed to prep my fabric, acquire my bias tape, upsize my pattern outside of um, starting this. And uh, just so you know, I was still able to do, like not including all that, I was able to, what I feel like, put the dress together in three hours, 10 minutes. Some hiccups I ran into, number one, my buy, I didn't pick my fabric out until this morning number one, um, which means I was then looking through my stock, my stash. I only had one um, package of this gray and it was a, I think it was an extra white double fold and I cut it in half and I just used that because you really needed two packages for the sides. Now the um, my goodness. The neckline, um, I just used, um, actually ended up being a, it's a vintage one I have acquired um, over the years. And this one was perfect. And I still have um, some left over, um, but um, I just, it was the perfect pink. And I thought, I'm just gonna put that there. Another liberty I took. I decided I, because even after um, upscaling what I thought was enough, I don't have an hourglass and I knew I should have figured that out in this pattern prior, but I didn't. So I kind of cheated and I did those two little um, extra. So here is where the bias tape ended, right? And, uh, but here at my waist, um, I went ahead and I just took the same fabric and I just cut long strips and I just, you know, I, I don't care that this isn't finished. I did do a top stitch on the outside. I'm not sure that you can see that, but just in the pink. And I just chose a cute little pink button. And then I also, instead of using bias tape, I chose the elastic. But yeah, the elastic in the back, which holds it really nicely. Now, I've made this dress before, uh, and I will uh, put a card, if I can figure out how to do that, uh, up here 
with that one. It was a Valentine's dress. And there was a lot of gaping in the bust area. And I'm not finding that as much so in this one. So there's definitely something better about this pattern. So I'm really excited to kind of compare that. So I'm just super excited. I just want to thank Stephanie Canada for doing this. I know everybody else is already, I think everybody else has theirs up uh, because we were supposed to get it done in October and that just didn't work in my world. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my little uh, tour through the walk away dress. Do you, I think it can be done, um, you know, starting in the morning and, and, um, being able to wear it at lunchtime. Absolutely. If you have pre-washed your fabric, ironed it, uh, have your um, bobbin threads ready because I had to keep respooling that. And of course a clean machine because I also had to clean out some lint because I've been doing, I do, I sew on a regular basis and you know. So yeah, I think even with those hiccups in my life, I could have done it. Um, but yeah, three hours, 10 minutes is what I got. Uh, but blessings to you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you come back next week and it will be another sewing video. That's just where I'm at in my, my life. So thank you. And I will talk to you next week.